So OpenAI took away our ability to browse the internet inside ChatGPT. What does that mean? And a quick way to get around it. So before we dive in, my name is Jordan Wilson. If you haven't heard of Everyday AI, you should check it out. We do this every day. We have a live stream, podcast, and a daily newsletter to help everyday people not just keep up with AI, but how we can actually use it. So this segment, AI in 5, is going to take a look at that. So let's take a quick look at what this announcement from ChatGPT or OpenAI means and how we can get around it. So in short, uh, OpenAI had always caused, uh, called the browse feature beta. So they took it away. I can't get into why, but you know, essentially by default, ChatGPT can no longer access up-to-date information. So there's a knowledge cutoff at September 2021. So if you want to ask anything recent, you're going to get an, essentially an error message from ChatGPT. Well, unless you listen to this AI in five and we'll tell you how to get around it. All right, so let's take a look. So whether you're using the paid version or the free version of ChatGPT, this can work. This is called Web Chat GPT. All right, so let's just kind of go ahead and show you what this is going to do. So you're going to go into ChatGPT um, and start a new chat. And by default, you're going to see that that plugin, that Web Chat GPT plugin is going to give you web access right here. And there's different settings, but you know, you can ask for different results in a different time frame. But let's just go ahead and first do this without web access. OK, so I, I'm saying who won the 2023 NBA finals? And you get this normal error message that says, my knowledge cutoff was last updated in, in September 2021. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toggle web access on. And you'll see here, it's processing, it's thinking, it's essentially searching the internet. Um, and now it can tell us, you know, hey, the Denver Nuggets won the 2021 NBA Finals. All right, so that's one way, whether you're using the paid version or the free version of ChatGPT, that you can uh, access now up-to-date information since they took away uh, the ability to browse with Bing. Okay. But there's other ways. So you'll see now when you're in chat GPT, you only have default and plugins. So before there was that other version called browse with Bing, it's gone now, but there's also many different plugins that you can use. So I went through and did this to save a little time just to sh show you some of the results. So not all plugins are created equally. So in this chat, I use actually some of our favorite plugins that we use at Everyday AI to access the web. But these different plugins, so WebPilot, Link Reader, um, and I think this one here is called Universal. I know they're kind of small in the screen there, but those essentially can access the information, but um, you have to usually give it a URL. So you'll say, uh, you'll see here, I just said, who won the 2023 NBA Finals? And it couldn't access the information. And again, you can't get from, you can't tell ChatGPT which plugin to use unless you only have one enabled, or if you kind of tell it. But you'll see here, I didn't get it. But if I included a Google link to just 2023 NBA Finals, you'll see it got it right. So it used WebPilot. It browsed that. You can always click this if you're if you're ever interested in kind of look at uh, some of the specifics. But uh, it worked. So if you're using these different link readers, you can't technically access the internet. You can just access a specific link. So there is a big difference. But another one that uh, I thought worked really really well uh, in our testing. So you can still use plugins, and there's a lot of reasons why you still want to use this mode and not just the free version. But uh, Mixerbox Web Search kind of in our testing was one of the ones that was most consistent in providing accurate information. Uh, so you'll see here, uh, I said, who won the 2023 NBA Finals? Got it correct, Denver Nuggets. I said, who won the 2022? Got it right, Golden State Warriors. But it's not always going to be correct even if you're using plugins. So, you know, as an example here, I used a, a different plugin and it got it right once, but sometimes it, got it wrong. So you'll see here when I asked it used the plugin called Total Query Search and it said the Los Angeles Lakers won the 2023 NBA Finals. Sorry Lakers fans, but you didn't the Denver Nuggets won. So that was a lot of information in a very quick amount of time. So long story short is at least for now OpenAI has taken away the browse with Bing feature. There's a lot of reasons why, 
Uh, but you can make your own uh, inferences there. So a couple different ways to recap that you can uh, still access the internet. So one, whether you're on free or paid, there's different Chrome extensions or just different browser extensions that can allow you access to the internet. So we showed you WebChat GPT, which is pretty consistent. But if you still want to use other plugins, uh, you're going to be limited. So there's, you know, ChatGPT plugins provide you so much uh, flexibility to, you know, read PDFs, to talk to your spreadsheets, to, you know, summarize YouTube videos. So you would still need the pro version in a plugin. So, you know, kind of our recommendation, at least so far, is to use the uh, Mixerbox web browsing uh, or the Mixerbox web search plugin. It's in our testing, it's pretty accurate and it still gives you that ability to kind of, you know, quote unquote, uh, browse with Bing. So I hope that was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com. We do these AI in fives uh, every weekday morning, as well as our live stream and podcast. So I hope to see you back for one of those and our next AI in five. Thanks.